it is with a pleasure that I will take a few moments to share this devotion with you. This summer has been very busy and full of adventures, full of discoveries, meetings, meetings with very diverse and interesting people. In fact, this was an anniversary of sort as my wife and I just recently returned for, from, a, from a very wonderful trip to Iceland. This trip was special. But what was most special was that it marked my 100th trip overseas. Every time we visit a, a different place, whether a new city, a new state, or a new country, we have to make some mental, cultural adjustments. Some are minimal, while others require some mental gymnastics, which are not, not very easily overcome. Simply put, it depends more on, on you and your willingness to adapt with what you are facing than on the people you are encountering. After all, it is their place, not yours. Let's see what Paul had to say about that. We read in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 19 to 23, and I'm reading from the New American Standard Bible as a choice reading. For those I am free from all people, I have made myself a slave to all, so that I may gain more. To the Jews I became as a Jew, so that I might gain Jews. To those who are under the law, I became as one under the law, though not being under the law myself, so that I might gain those who are under the law. To those who are without the law, I became as one without the law, who not being without the law of God, but under the law of Christ, so that I might gain those who are without the law. To the weak, I became weak, so that I might gain the weak. I have become all things to all people, so that I may by all means save some. I do all things for the sake of the gospel, so that I may become a fellow partaker. It. Yet, as Paul, we need to adjust to our environment so that whatever we have to share may be significant and life-giving to the people we encounter. Adaptability, flexibility, graciousness, and a willingness to let people be themselves rather than like us. This will open doors, ears, and hearts than beautiful rehearsed word put together to impress an already convinced audience. So what do I get from all of this? It's quite simple, really. I need to be as adaptable as possible, respecting the people and the context in which we find ourselves while being true to what Christ has said and done. In doing so, we we will encounter fantastic opportunities to share what he shared with us. And so let me encourage you to continue this way, to be yourselves, respecting the people and discovering who they are, because Christ is certainly with them as well. Blessings.